What is up guys welcome to another video that geeky guy here today we will be looking at the classic constructor Visserite deck tag uh, updated for tales of area and i would like also to thank uh, classroom cafe for sponsoring this video more on them at the end of the video so i'm just gonna go through the deck and then we're gonna talk about the equipment choices and basically justify from there so the usual build for a Viserai does involve uh, cards such as Amplify the Arc Knight, um, Consuming Volition, Meet and Greed, so we do play those in this deck. So uh, Moderate Tide, 3 copies of those is a must. Morvian Skies, we are playing uh, 9 copies of those, uh, 3 Raids, 3 Yellows, 3 Blues, because we do want our attacks to have go again since we are aiming for an aggro version of the Viserai deck. Then we are playing three copies of the Plunder Run, so allows us to draw, pretty self-explanatory. We have two copies of Rattles Bones. Now, Rattle Bones, read if we were to deal any arcane damage, we can play Rattle Bones as an instant. So we can actually instantly play out an attack action from the graveyard itself, uh, which is pretty handy, uh, which allows us to actually gain back an action point. Because Rattle Bones itself does have go again. Three copies of Sonata just to reveal top three cards. Uh, usually you don't want to pay more for this. We just want to reveal and we, if we get lucky, we can hit uh, one of those attack action that we can get into our hand. If you do want to reveal one more extra, it is also pretty useful to pitch a blue, pay the cost, which is two in order to reveal an extra one. Uh, Dread Triptych is also a common Runeblade card which is pretty useful. Now a new addition from Tales that I'm putting into this deck is 3 copies of Sigil of Suffering which basically forces your opponent to um, take 1 Arcane damage uh, else the defense reaction itself will be having 4 which is pretty useful to deal Arcane damage to your opponent. Also it's a defense reaction that does not require Rune Chance. However, if you play this deck correctly, you should have a, at least one rune chant at end of uh, each turn, which in turn allows us to use the reduced to rune chant defense reaction. Now, another new addition to this deck is the Sting of Sorcery. We're playing three copies of this because it's pretty useful to actually deal arcane damage because a certain attack action card in this deck, such as Meet and Greed and Consumer Evolution, actually. Um, uh, they actually depend on uh, having arcane damage dealt in order to get that nice uh, extra juice effect. Meet and Greed herself actually obtains go again, while Consuming, on the other hand, um, gets an extra hit effect. So um, the base, basically the new additions are Siege of Suffering and also Sting of Sorcery. However, let's take a look at Spellbound Creepers. Now, Spellbound Creepers is a legendary equipment. Uh, it can be pricey since uh, Tales of Area Unlimited is not released yet. But if you can get a hang of this, I feel like Viscera is one of those. Uh, if one of the three Runeblade classes that has the most usage out of this boot. Now, it allows us to play out a non-attack action as an instant. And uh, however, it provided that we have attack or defender with an attack action card. Now, there, that's where read the runes come in, which is pretty useful. What you want to play is basically a Morian Sky, either the red, the blue, and the yellow, because the important part here is we want to value the goal again. Play out Morian Sky, play out an attack action. Let's say you play out a consuming or maybe even a mid and greet. And then what you want to do is pay one extra in order to activate your spellbound creepers. Play out the reader runes, create three more rune chants, and even play out another attack such as Amplify the Arc Knight. So you can see that um, Spellbound Creepers can be pretty powerful if used uh, correctly in order to gain that extra action point. So I'm gonna leave the link to the deck down in the description below so you guys can check it out. Hey guys, just a quick shout out to Classroom Cafe, which is the sponsor of today's video. This have actually gave me a magic carpet, which is a Dragon Shield product that contains both deck tree and an art play mat. So I'm ju just going to open this up for you guys so you guys can take a look. And if you guys are interested in their Dragon Shield products, uh, Flesh and Blood singles, and even magic singles, you guys, I recommend you guys actually checking them out. So I'm just going to show you guys what this contains. So um, it is a deck box and an art play mat bundled together. So this is what it looks like. So I do have a dark pink uh, color here. Um, so it is available in multiple colors. Uh, let's open this up. 
So this is uh, the uh, art play mat. Which I'm just gonna open this up. Beautiful art play mat, and you do have a deck box, silica gel. Do throw that away, but once you have the deck tray, it is very easy to actually organize your decks. So I suggest you guys might want to check it out if you have um, the need to actually organize your decks and if you are the type of person that brings multiple decks to any events uh, do check this product out and i'm just gonna link uh, their facebook account their facebook page down in the description so you guys can check them out contact them if you guys have any um, singles magic singles fresh and blood singles or even accessories for, for tcgs uh, do check them out so thank you again guys very much for watching um, do like, subscribe, and all those stuff. Thank you, Classroom Cafe, for sponsoring this video. Check, see you guys in the next one. Bye.